What is up guys? Welcome back. How's that broadcasting coming back to you guys again here today? Finally, it's been a few weeks, but we are we're back and see if I can get this mouse to work here. New got a new tripod and uh it's much nicer, but it's not working out as well. So we gotta go ahead and switch this. Hopefully move this thing around so hopefully everything still works just fine. Kansas and Homestead, all right, so we are the right number of races away. So final race, this is the cutoff, where Chastain is on the cut line, but minus nine. Drivers into their cars. Ty Gibbs, looking to win this thing. Look at that. Joe Gibbs, Joe Gibbs, Joe Gibbs. <laughs> all the Toyotas are inside the top nine as well. Reddick, Bell, Wallace, a little further down. Alright, so Ty Gibbs going for that second win of the season. Hamlin, Truex, 7 and 8. Larson, only 2. More playoff points as they're all likely to move into the next round. So they could all use these playoff points. So here we are. Ty Gibbs going to lead us to green. Green flag is in the air. Ty Gibbs off to an early lead. You got Elliott challenging for third on Denny Hamlin. Truex got two second. Uh, Ken Truex get 10 wins this season. Obviously, he's got eight already. Only needs two more. You got 200 cars there in fourth and fifth behind the three Gibbs cars. Larson going by L8 on the high side. I think he's going to clear him. He does. We saw Hamlin do the same thing, so the outside does work here. Ty Gibbs off to a lead. Truex, Hamlin, Larson, Elliott. Then Reddick, Byron Bell, Logano, Wallace, the top 10. You got Bush back here. Kyle Bush. Chris Buescher, Ryan Blaney, some cut line drivers. Some of these guys coming in the cut below the points. I believe Bubba Wallace is the last guy in. Uh, went into the final race quite a bit of points below and jumped all the way to the cushion with the second place finish. Here we are. Looks like some moving around going on into the corner. Side by side here, Chastain. Potentially after a championship four visit with seven wins last season, leading the series, winless so far and could be eliminated in the round of 16, running 19th. It'd be a little better, probably like 17th, 16th, but. I'm standing on the apron right there. Back to the front where Ty Gibbs leads Martin Truex Jr. It's been a while since Truex has won. Hamlin has won a ton since Truex's last win. Truex, three wins in a row. The only driver to do that, even dating back to season one. Gibbs still leading this thing. 80 lap race here. I'm not sure what pitting is going to look like. It's just blurriness here. Chase Elliott still winless all this year, all last year. Yeah, we will see pit stops for sure. 
Joe Gibbs, a 1-2-3 here. You got Christopher Bell, 8th. You even got uh, Reddick and Wallace inside the top nine. You look through the field here, Almendinger towards the back. It's been a rough year for Almendinger. Haley, Custer, Gill, and all having not great seasons. Meanwhile, Ty Gibbs here continues to lead. He's had a pretty good year. He's been like top eight in points, top seven in points really all season, Ty Gibbs. Having a consistent year. Has a win. Almost has two. Uh, could pick up his second today. As these Toyotas are currently dominating. See racing towards the back of the pack. Gil, Lynn, Haley. Hormendinger. Well, Ty Gibbs leads Truex. Can Truex hunt him down and get that ninth win of the season? It's playoff time, so this is not the time where you want to start slowing down that really good pace. Last couple weeks, he hasn't been quite as fast. Meanwhile, Denny Hamlin has won three or four times since Truex's last win, and Hamlin is now to uh, seven wins, only one behind Truex, and he's around the running second and third. Kyle Larson, one win, two wins on the season. Kyle Larson, two wins on the season. Chase Elliott, winless. Uh, Reddick, a win. Byron, two wins. Bell, a win. Logano, a win. Ryan Blaney, three wins. Busher and Kozlowski win this season. Oh, Ty Gibbs. Struggling into the corner here. Truex and Hamlin got right to the back bumper of him. I don't know what caused that. Could have gave up the lead right there to Truex. The defending champion, Christopher Bell, finally won this season. It took, you know, the entire regular season. Now that we're in the playoffs, finally that team got into victory lane. Christopher Bell. Defending champion, three wins a season ago, has a win this season. Lagging behind is, you know, JGR teammates, one, two, three right now. Christopher Bell is eighth. Truex trying to close in on the back bumper of the 54. See these three still pulling away. Larson Elliott trying to remain in close proximity. Hamlin has got to the back bumper of Truex. Lap traffic could be a factor here. Uh, 17 seconds back is Almendinger. And they're running about 30 second lap time. So, I mean, it could happen potentially. Or even in, you know, 29.9, so sub 30s. Ty Gibbs leads here at Kansas. As Martin Truex Jr. is second. Hamlin all over him. Hamlin hitting the apron there. Losing some time. Kyle Larson back there waiting to pounce. Chase Elliott. Reddick has been insanely consistent. Him and Ryan Blaney. It seems like it's Truex, Hamlin every week. And then Reddick and Blaney are third, fourth, fifth every week. Uh, Reddick there in sixth. Blaney lagging off a little bit in 12th, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Again, three wins on the season. That team will be fine. Logano, about 10th place. Bubba Wallace, ninth. All drivers trying to uh, earn their way into the Round of 12, and this is the cutoff race. After this, there will be seven races left.
These three getting away. Larson reeling them in a little bit. Don't count that five car out. It's him versus the three JGR cars. You see Elliott, Byron in fifth and seventh hanging around. Bowman back to 14th. That's where the Hendrick cars are. This has been a primarily Joe Gibbs racing dominant season. Joe Gibbs trying to go back to back on championships as well with Christopher Bell, the champion last year. He's been the weakest of the JGR cars this year. I'd say he's been close to Ty Gibbs, but we see more uh, runs by Ty Gibbs that are, you know, like today, he's led every lap. So far, you know, Christopher Bell's had a few races like that. You know, finally got that win. I think it was at Dover. The second Dover race, I believe, is where he got in victory lane. Oh, Truex Hamlin. Again, a lot checking up here into the corner. You know, Elliot, will that team ever get into victory lane? Winless last year, but was top five in points all year. Winless this year, he's been slower, top ten in points all year. You know, he's led some laps like in Indianapolis, finished second, ran second, led laps there, qualified the pole. Very good car and just could not get the job done. That nine car has been close. He's finished second, last lap pass at Michigan last year. Truex got him in one of his six wins last season. Um, you know, Truex, the winningest driver so far, eight wins this year, six last year. He sits at 14 wins. So I think Hamlin is second. I think he's sitting at 10. So big difference there. Truex way ahead on wins. Almost halfway through this thing. Ty Gibbs currently leads still. Larson has got to the back bumper of Hamlin. Haven't seen passes made, though. You know, Hendrick Motorsports trying to avoid a disaster in the playoffs like we saw a season ago where, you know, they opened up with Bowman missing the playoffs and then in the round of 16, shockingly, Chase Elliott was uh, bounced in the round of 16. That was, that was unexpected because he went into that final race with a cushion and uh, had an issue. Chaotic Kansas race. It was this very race. This very race was insane a season ago. And then, uh, you know, he... Very surprisingly, top five in points all year, bounced in the round of 16, eliminated in the round of 16. Then you go into the round of 12, William Byron, Kyle Larson in very good shape. Byron, three wins on the year, final race. Byron gets eliminated in the round of 12. Then they go into the round of eight, Kyle Larson, again, in very good shape to make the championship four. He gets eliminated, I believe it was by a tiebreaker. Uh, Larson was eliminated in the final race and zero Hendrick cars made it to Homestead to fight for the championship. So they had a car eliminated in every round. Bowman missed the playoffs. Elliott in the round of 16. Byron in the round of 12. Larson in the round of 8. They're trying to avoid that this year. Larson two wins on the year. Byron two wins on the year. Uh, Elliott and Bowman winless. Elliott's been more consistent though. Uh, Bowman's been consistently a top 16 car though. We'll see if any of them get bounced in the round of 16 after this race is done. Halfway through this thing, Ty Gibbs has led every lap. This has been JGR dominated. Um, Truex at eight wins, Hamlin at seven. Ty Gibbs trying to get his second win of the season. They have 17 wins this season, uh, Joe Gibbs Racing does. They have eight and seven, so that's 15. And then one from Gibbs, one from Bell. And they're likely to win this race. This will be their 18th win of the season if one of their cars can get it done here. I mean, that's half the that's half the races won by Joe Gibbs Racing. Truex and Hamlin, a majority of them, but Bell, defending champion, a win, and Ty Gibbs trying to get his second here in the playoffs. He did not win last year. Ty Gibbs actually, I think he he was bounced in the round of 16 last year, so trying to uh. Avoid that, win his way into the round of 12. He is a round of eight threat. Could he be a championship four threat? I don't know about that. A win would be massive. That'd be bonus points. Um, but, I mean, he sure is a threat. He could go out there and win. Leading laps right here, Ty Gibbs. Putting it to Truex, Hamlin, and Larson, and Elliott, and Reddick, and all the guys that are within two seconds still. Lap traffic is only, it's about 22 seconds back, so could see it. 
and that could make a difference in the end of this race, but Ty Gibbs getting away here. He's led every lap so far. Pit stops in about 20 laps. So if we don't get a caution, which is unlikely that we do, we will see pit stops. Looks like we got pit stops going on here. I didn't want to skip over pit stops. Looks like I did chase Elliott. Almost got by Ty Gibbs here. He got by Truex. So this is uh, shaking things up a ton here. Hamlin got ahead of both of them. They pitted way earlier than I thought they would. Tyler Reddick is still out there though. yet here staying out if we get a caution this is gonna be insane everybody trapped a lap down here Tyler Reddick the leader and he's staying out this is rare we see strategy like this staying out Hamlin currently leads Ty Gibbs then Elliott then Truex Larson lost spots to Reddick and Bush. Did these guys... Okay, now I'm confused. I shouldn't have skipped. You would think Larson would be ahead, right? Something must have happened to Larson. No damage to the car. So Tyler Reddick leads, we're coming to, we got 23 to go. Kyle Busch trying to reel in Tyler Reddick. I mean, I gotta say I'm very confused here. A lot of cars are lapped down. See Byron back there. He'll be coming to get his lap back next. I would assume these guys are running much slower times than the guys that aren't pitted. See Hamlin's 27 back. Gibbs is running him down. We'll see how much he's gaining. I don't think it's going to be a lot. No, barely anything. So, I mean, staying out may not be a bad call. guy staying out here which is very different from what we typically see if caution is to come out Byron down is screwed Hamlin's gaining like I don't even think he's getting a tenth a lap. 26.8. We'll see what he is next time. Bye. Loses time. 26.9. You see Truex and Elliott right in front of Reddick.
Reddick catching Truex, so for whatever reason, he's faster than these guys on old tires. Maybe he's not on old tires. I'm very confused on what's happening here, but whatever. We got something happening, and this could very well shake up the playoff picture. I did look at the points before recording this, so I'm got no insight there, but Reddick potentially going to win this race. I assume he's going to pit. Very confused, though. Pulling away from Kyle Busch, maintaining with Kyle Larson. They don't have many laps to go. I mean, I'm curious about the strategy here. Is Reddick going to stay out? Garage says 66 laps. So we are past that. Well past that. I mean, I'm very confused here. I mean, we got many cars staying out. We got seven of them staying out. What I thought was the battle for the lead, Ty Gibbs has run down Denny Hamlin. Tells you the speed of that 54 car. Very confused. Reddick could be picking up his second win of the season here. I think it's likely at this point. I mean, I'm very confused. Got six to go. Tyler Reddick leads. Very odd scenario here in Kansas. Five to go. Tyler Reddick, in weird fashion, is likely going to pick up his second win of the season here in the playoffs. He hasn't won since early, early, early in the season. Super early in the season. His only win last season coming at, I think it was Talladega. Making sure we got no issues back here. Playoff implications. Nothing really. So Tyler Reddick with four to go. Pulling off from Kyle Busch. Now he's pulling off from Kyle Larson. Ty Gibbs, three tenths exactly behind Denny Hamlin, which is likely not the battle for the lead anymore. I am very confused on what's going on here. Very, very confused. Just he's running down Truex, and I assume Truex got tires and Reddick didn't, because I assume Truex pitted and Reddick didn't. Truex, Reddick missed the corner there. Byron getting to him, who is a lap down, because uh, again I assume he pitted and Reddick didn't. Um, three to go. If he's gonna pit, he's gonna have to be soon. And if he does pit, does Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson stay out? I mean, De Benedetto, Briscoe, McDowell gonna get top seven finishes here. Two to go for Tyler Reddick. Coming out of turn four to the white flag. And in weird fashion, Tyler Reddick takes it. One to go. I don't understand what's happening here at all. This is likely going to shape up the shake up the playoff picture for sure. I am just so confused on what's happening. Half a lap to go. And if he doesn't come down pit road, Tyler Reddick going to pick up his second win of the season. Stealing one from Ty Gibbs. It looks like Hamlin would have stole it from him anyway. Off of four. Here it is. Tyler Reddick wins in the round of 16. And Kyle Busch. This could be big implications. Second place finish. 
Larson third. Lugano, this is big. Fourth. I don't know what the playoff picture looks like, but De Benedetto at top five. Briscoe and McDowell top tens. Blaney 19th. Chastain 20th. Wallace, Kislowski, Bowman, Busher all outside the 15th and worse here. Weird, weird scenario. scenario but that'll do it for us round of 12 is up next starting at Talladega